this video, I'm gonna tell you all about one of my favorite finishes, shellac. Uh, now, before shellac came about in the uh, 19th century, there was basically just oils and waxes. And oils and waxes are fine, they protect wood, they give a really nice finish, but they're not quite as protective as what we would call like a film finish, which is shellac. So this is the first one. They Later we went to varnishes, polyurethanes, things like that, polycrylics. But this is an old school finish, which is perfect for old houses, works great on fine furniture. And one of the reasons I like this is it's really easy to uh, repair. If you get scratches in it, it is uh, mixed with denatured alcohol. So, you know, like a, a little scrubbing sponge or some steel wool and some denatured alcohol. And you can kind of like buff out that issue or you can recoat uh, re just that small area. So as you can see in the shellac, the, uh, the flakes are very small. Uh, they are basically from the lac bug secretions. This is a natural product. Uh, in uh, India and Thailand, there's a bug called the lac bug, and it leaves these secretions on trees. And they basically shave them off, clean them up, bag them up, and send them off to us here who uh, need woodworking finishes. Uh, you can get different colors. There's blonde shellac, there's uh, amber, there's some darker ones. Lots of different variety. It just depends what kind of color you want in your finish. Now, I, these are blonde shellac flakes. I prefer this because I'll just get the color I want either from my wood choice or from my stains, and then I can just put mostly a clear finish. The blonde ones are, are pretty much a clear finish, almost like a polycrylic. Just a little bit of warmth, a little bit of amber in them. And the way that you make these, I'm gonna show you today, it's very, very simple. Um, you need to decide first what kind of strength you need, uh, what viscosity, it's a good word for you, what thickness you want on your shellac. So uh, pretty typical is a two pound cut. So it's referred to, this is a half pound bag. So uh, the pound cut in shellac is how many uh, pounds of shellac flakes you put into with one gallon of denatured alcohol. Now I don't have a gallon here, and I have a little pint cup. So you may have to do a little bit of math to figure it out. But if I want a two pound cut, which is a pretty standard thing, the stores carry mostly three pound cuts, so it's a little bit thicker. I like thinner coats. Thinner coats are easier to apply. They're, you're gonna build up a few coats and you're gonna get a really nice finish. So a two pound cut is the way. So two pounds per one gallon. So I'm gonna mix some of that up in here. I've got a half pound and I've got a pint. So that's 16 ounces. So basically what I'm gonna mix up in here just today is I'm gonna do a quarter pound and I'm gonna mix it into here and I'm gonna put the denatured alcohol. So I'll show you how that works out. Open these up. There's always a little desiccant in here that you want to apparently, according to the instructions, not eat. Um, but you are going to pour your shellac flakes in here. And I've seen some people use a coffee grinder to grind these up. It helps them dissolve faster. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and do about half half of this bag, which is about there. So I'm about halfway. That fills this up about halfway. And then I'm gonna fill this in with a denatured alcohol. Once you fill it in, you're gonna put the top back on, you're gonna shake it up, and you're gonna let these dissolve. Once you've got everything mixed together, you're gonna to keep agitating it here and there, give it a mix every now and then, and you're gonna have it after three to six hours, you're gonna have a nice setup of shellac. You can always add a little bit more shellac flakes if you want it to be a little bit thicker. If you need it a little bit thinner, you can add a little bit de more denatured alcohol. It's the wonderful thing about shellac as a finish is you can really fine tune it. If you go buy it at the store pre-mixed, you don't really have that ability as well, but um, I think this is a great finish. You should add to your repertoire if you're not familiar with it. Buy a bag, a half pound bag of uh, shellac flakes. You can get them on Amazon. I'll include the link down in the description. You can get denatured alcohol at any hardware store and mix them together. Give it a shot. What do you got to lose?